Good morning. I'm excited to share with you God's provision for us. He's got many provisions, but the one I want to talk about today is angels. And I know you probably have some angel stories, and I want you to share with me through an email or responding to this uh, video because it's so exciting to know that angels are real, they're powerful. We read many stories of them throughout the Bible, and um, I just want to focus today in on about three scriptures for us. And one is in Hebrews uh, 134, it says uh, that uh, these angels are all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation. So if you're a believer, hey, you have angels because it's in God's word, and they're there sent forth to do the work to help us. So the other scripture, and that Psalms 91, and we've already been talking about praying Psalms 91 over our lives. And if you're doing that, when that verse that says that uh, he will give angels in charge over you to defend and preserve you in all of your ways, then as you confess that out of your mouth and have faith in it, then angels are loosed to be able to uh, work in your behalf. So that's another powerful angel scripture. And the last one I wanted to give you is out of Psalms 103, uh, it's verses 20 through 21. It says, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word. I think that's real important. They are there to do the word of God. Heeding the voice of his word, Bless the Lord, all you his host, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. And what I get from that is that when we believe God's word and we speak it out of our mouth, then that looses angels to go out and work in our behalf. Pretty powerful, isn't it? So when you, you pray, God, I, I believe that you're going to provide for all my need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus, then that looses angels to go out and do the work that's needed in your life to bring the things that God has planned for you. Uh, I thought about this. It's real important that we speak words of life because when we do that, and you know, angels have hands and arms, but they also have wings, and I thought this is a great example. When we are speaking the word of God, the angels are ready. They're there going, listen to what she just said. Look at, listen to what he just spoke out of his mouth about what he believes in God's word. And there, that loses them to go out and work for you. But the opposite is, when we speak words of doubt and unbelief, these angels just lower their wings because they're not going to be uh, responding to those kind of words. They respond to the word of God that you speak out of your mouth. So I pray right now, Jesus, that you make the word of God real in with people's lives and that they will speak it out over their situations. And we thank you for the angels you've provided for us to do the work that's needed in our lives. We pray that in Jesus' name. Now let me know your angel stories. Love you.